So Dragon Ball Sparky Zero continues to come apart at the seams here as more and more people have grown emboldened by me pointing out the mistakes of the game. Well, they've started to analyze and tear apart Sparky Zero at the seams and they've begun finding the other mistakes. Now again, this goes off of what I said in past videos that Dragon Ball Sparky Zero, the, the combat has no weight, no impact, no ferocity to it. And people have started pointing out this very fact and using animations to back it up. This example here being Android 18, who's had her iconic BT3 grab change from the, the slaps to this impactless little knee interaction here. And I, I want to emphasize impactless because what they've tried to do with Sparking Zero is disguise the fact that the characters don't actually make contact with each other in this fighting game. This is supposed to be a fighting game yet the character's blows don't actually hit the other character model. That is disgusting, pathetic trash. But they try to disguise it, the fact that the combat has no impact by using impact frames. So no contact, no knee actually hitting the body. And I'm, I'm saying, why don't we have this like from Burst Limit, where you know in Burst Limit, when someone got a gut punch or a knee or a kick, you would, they would put the emphasis on showing you that indent in the midsection, like the punch going through the gut of the opponent. You could see it coming out the other side, not literally, but you would see the flesh from like the back just come out and the imprint of the fist. You would actually see that detail. That was a PS3 game doing that, right? But Sparking Zero on the almighty PS5 has to use impact frames to try to disguise the fact that the characters don't actually make contact with each other. This is pathetic. And you can say, you're trying to, I've already seen people down here trying to say, well, this is from the manga, dude. This is from the manga, dude. This is trash. They just use this as an excuse not to have the characters hit each other. Now, I personally have a theory that this could be a form of censorship because the Sparking series has already been hit with that in the past when censorship was a lot less controversial. I remember they they specifically censored Bardock's rush attack where he used to knee people in the back and they said, well, that's too ferocious. We need to tune it down. So they, they changed it in BT3. So now I see they're continuing the same trend and you know we're living in bizarre world censorship land right now. So of course they would make a game where the characters don't actually hit each other and they use impact frames not to accentuate the combat or make anything look better, but to disguise their disgusting censorship practices and to try to deceive the consumer. So this just looks pathetic, but this actually also goes back to another super attack in the game. Now you can see the original poster here. I know it's a reference, but on paper, in practice, the grab stinks. It's too fast. The knee strike must hit the body or almost go through it. You know, again, referencing what I said about burst limit. While in Sparky Zero, the knee is two meters from Goku's body. The hit box is horrible. And they tried to, again, I think he goes even lower here. So hiding everything with effects to ultimately have no impact is empty. Exactly what I said. Uh, let me see, let's wrap it up here. Cause I do know that people tried to get on him about pointing this out. It's really more than shameful. <laughs> And they also, again, point out burst limit, how in this game, they got it right. Bam, you see the impact, you see the hit. Bam, it's done better. Now, it, I'm gonna be fair, it's from a different camera angle, but you can still see that gut punch interaction and that kick away. It looked better in a PS3 game. That's the sad part there. But I think the conversation pretty much ended there. The goal of a grab is to create opportunities to defeat the opponent by chaining together more attacks. I think it's, it needs to be a little bit longer. And again, people coming out with the typical defenses. Oh my God, here we go. Please, let's not forget this is still a very, oh my God, the game is coming out in two months. But here goes the defense force. Typical pull, like this is one of the uh, the, the most generic defenses. 
please, let's not forget this is still a very, very early build of the game. An early build and the game is coming out in two months. I can't believe this lot. I can't believe he, he typed out this line. And I still don't see anything wrong with the grab. It's trash. It's not actually making contact. I think it's a nice, quick grab. Uh-huh. They just accept. And this is why we're never going to get quality. I just think that fans need to universally stop supporting Dragon Ball games. And I know that's going to sound weird coming from me because I, I love Dragon Ball games. But I don't accept trash. I, I want quality. I want better Dragon Ball games. And I'm not going to go along to get along just to get a sniff of Dragon Ball. If you don't do it right, I don't want you making trash out of the art that Akira Toriyama left behind. That's, that, that's the kind of wavelength I'm on. And for them to use the Sparky name to make a quick dollar and make a game where the characters aren't even making contact. Look at this. Perfect screenshot here, not even, look how far away the knee is. And no, that's not Goku falling back in response to the knee. That's literally from the front, the frame that the knee started, right from the beginning. Need we need, need we play it one more time. Look at that, bam, way back, never made contact. Never, it's like watching a wrestling botch. And that's literally what this is. This is like watching a wrestling botch in real time. This is trash. This is trash. I, no, I'm not accepting this garbage. Uh, whoever wants to play Fortnite fake sparking zero freaking cash grab 2024, do that. I don't care. I, just, I, I hate this game. It's garbage. Everything you find, everything you find out about this game, it gets more and more garbage. It, it, it's a never ending la laughing stock with this game. I'm going to go ahead and translate this because I know that this also goes back to another character that I pointed out uh, in a past video. The game has chosen to make mugs fluid and fast so as not to break the rhythm of the combat. What combat? It's square, 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 square. Like, the, if anything, the combat is slow because the movement speed is slow because they base all movement off of the key bar so everything is slow so there is really no rhythm that makes no excuse and it's a very good choice i also find the fact that the mug refers to a scene from Dragon. no it doesn't no it doesn't because if you really wanted to uh make a reference to the scene you would have had 18 hit the knee and then like point finger point the opponent back and finish off with the little palm strike if you really wanted to reference the entire thing like how are they saying it's referencing the scene and you see every like you see the finger point back after the knee bam that's what the grab could have been but they didn't do that they chose to be trash and oh brother here comes it. again the defenders always want to come out in full force because they can't handle they're so pussy hurt about this game being trash that when they see anybody criticize anything they come out like little mindless drones defending the garbage. I'm going to be glad when they're stuck on here because we already got confirmation that Dragon Ball Daima, look, it's Akira Toriyama's last work and it's not for me. I don't like, you know, I'm not going to make a million hate videos on Dragon Ball Daima, but I will say that the characters to put them for like DLC, it to me is trash. Okay, I don't like Dragon Ball Diamond at all. So we already got confirmation that, you know, half of the season pass DLC for this game is trash. And then you're also waiting for old content. So you're gonna be waiting most of 2025 for old content that's not new anymore. Complete garbage. Yeah, so when the game doesn't look enough like the manga, it's annoying. When there are different reference or direct references, it's annoying too. We don't deserve the game, <laughs> LOL. Oh, uh, these people are wild. But this actually does, this whole situation does go back to another super attack and they highlighted it here, Goku's Meteor Smash. Now I said again that this move from BT3 was a lot more ferocious, a lot more intense, had a lot more impact, and Goku just beat the ever-loving crap out of the opponent in BT3 and laid them out whereas in this one like he's not even really making contact with frieza they slowed it down to make it look safer baby down watered down you know 
And yet he just, like, nothing here really flows like in BT3. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not impressed by, you know, flashy graphics. I'm not impressed by this. I'm not impressed by the candy colors. Like, do I, do I want it in a game? Yes, but is that going to distract me from the other problems with the game? No, I will point out all the problems with this game. I don't care if you have candy colors or not. This is a problem where this iconic super attack just has no ferocity to it. I'm sorry, Goku not even actually making contact with Freeze on the kick, the follow up kick, this slow transition into this interaction where Goku is just supposed to be hammering this guy with punches before doing all these different uh, animations. And he's not. It's just it, it feels like nothing. It just feels like a bunch of pointless melee. It doesn't even really feel like combos. So let me see what he said here, because, you know, I don't speak French or whatever he's speaking. But let's go ahead and translate it. It does have something to do with impacts. Um, you have to rewatch to see it. No, it's quite explicit. Even in the ultimate attacks, you can see from 100 kilometers away that the characters don't touch each other. And that's why everyone criticizes the impact. So, yeah, I knew it was something different. Like a lot of people have also highlighted this about Broly, where if you know it's Broly, he's, he, do, he doesn't look or feel like Broly. And let me explain this. Like in Xenoverse 2, Broly feels like Broly. He is beating the crap out of you. He's stomping you into the ground, clotheslining you, shoulder tackling you. He is making contact with you and beating you into the ground. Whereas in Sparking Zero, it just feels like he's doing a whole lot of nothing and it doesn't have any impact. So this could be a form of censorship and I don't understand why it's always against uh, non-Western games because we can go and look at Mortal Kombat. They can have X-ray hits and fatalities and all this, that and the other. But then when you get to these games from Japan, they have to be censored down, watered down. No, you can't do that. No, you can't show that. No, that's too you know, that has too much body on that woman, or it might be, oh, that's too violent. Hold on, what about this Mortal Kombat and this GTA over here? Oh, they're okay, because they're Western games. Oh, well, we're not gonna complain about those games, but oh, Japan games with any violence or ferocity, that's bad, that's bad. We, we have to tone that down. Again, I wasn't getting this game before, but I'm definitely not getting it now. You got a fighting game, where the characters don't make contact with each other. And that's going to factor in the online because they're already not making contact with the, with each other. So e that's going to go either way where hits that should not connect online are going to connect because they're all their hit boxes are going to be way too big. And the person could be two miles away from you and they press tr uh, square like they will square, 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 square. And everything is going to hit because it's already set to hit without making actual physical contact with the character model. So it is going to be terrible. It is actually going to be terrible, but that's what I've caught. Uh, characters not making contact in a fighting game is wild and it's actually pathetic. Go give this person a follow. Uh, don't harass them. If you're a sparking zero glazer, go F yourself. If you still believe in this game, this game is trash. It is just Dragon Ball, Fortnite, baby down, watered down, censored down, pathetic, wannabe, cash grab, cash in on Sparking's good name. Get the hell out of here with your trash ass game. Hit that subscribe button. It's Perfection and Natural Selection, the end game of all games. Because you might beat the final boss, but you'll never beat the end game. Yeah.